So some of the questions we often get uh, regarding uh, some basic use of the iPad is how to manage your icons. And so this short tutorial is going to take us through just a few steps about uh, how to manage uh, icons, moving them around the screen, reorganizing them, and so forth. Now, you can see what I did here is to um, uh, be able to manage them. I first have to hold down on the icon. So I do that. And then when I do, it starts wriggling, as you can see. And once it starts wriggling, then I can kind of move it around the screen, as you're seeing here um, happening right now. Now, if I bring it over to the right-hand side of the screen for just a moment, it will allow me to move the icon or the application to the next screen. Notice the little black X there allows me to delete the icon if I want to as well, which I can only do while it's kind of wriggling. Now, uh, once I get it situated to the place I want, I just click the home button or push the home button, which is the button on the iPad toward the bottom of the screen, which looks like a square, and it will um, stop wriggling. Now you may also notice these things here called groupings and you can see that I can nest multiple icons together into these groupings. So it's real simple to do that. Uh, what I first have to do is again hold down on the icon until it starts wriggling and then I just take one icon and I drop it on top of the other icon that I want to create a nesting or a grouping of and then I rename it whatever I want. And notice that automatically creates the grouping for me. I don't have to do anything else other than just simply dragging one icon on top of the other icon. So here I have two web conferencing applications, Skype and Adobe Connect, so I'm just renaming that conferencing. And when I'm done, just click the grouping and it just returns back to normal. And just like you can with the individual icons, I can move the grouping wherever I want. I can rearrange it, I can move it to a different screen. Uh, I can remove it within the rearrange it within the page stack or however I want.